Alright, so now we're going to be drawing out pair annihilation. So we had pair production in the last video. Now we'll have pair annihilation in physics, okay? Pair annihilation. Okay. So. We have an E minus plus E plus. Which gives us Y plus Y. These are two photons moving in opposite directions. So that as we have already calculated the mass energy of the electron positron pair to be 1.2 1.02 MeV then as this produces two y ray photons the energy of each photon must be 0 0.51 MV so 0 0.51 MeV multiplied by 2 okay and we have E, E here, and then we have some radiation being given off. So this would be a minus, this would be a plus. We have our plus, E plus here, and our E minus here. Okay, and this would be a Y photon, this would be a Y photon as well. Then this is annihilation. Lation. Alright, nice. So, antiprotons. So, um, the mass of a proton is nearly 2,000 times that of an electron. So, when a proton meets an antiproton plus antiproton, when a proton meets an antiproton, uh, just look down here, we have a pion and antipion. And antipion. And mathematically, the symbols for these would be P plus plus P minus, which gives us pi plus plus antipion minus. Okay? Pions are formed when high energy protons in cosmic rays collide. The pion is a very short lived particle and decays into another strange particle, a muon, and a neutrino in about 10 to the minus 8 of a second. So it decays to a muon, to a muon in which a muon is represented by this symbol. And it does that in, in 10 minus 8 seconds proton proton collisions so pair production is the conversion of energy into mass and pair annihilation is the conversion of a mass into energy okay So Einstein's mass energy equation, which is E equals to mc squared, works both ways. Mass changes into energy, but energy can also change into mass. When high energy protons collide, some of the enormous energy changes into mass. Proton antiproton pair produce neutral proton pion produced deuteron proton neutron combination and pion produced proton sigma baryon and kaon k meson produced so the fundamental forces of nature we'll have a look at that in the next video okay so thanks for watching